Welcome back everybody. Now publicity has become such a useful tool for many artists and public relations practitioners or publicists within the entertainment industry because artists have an image and brand to maintain. And today we're joined by a woman that has been a pioneer in the public relations sphere. She's a mother. She's an entrepreneur. She's a PR practitioner and has played quite a pivotal role in being behind some of the biggest celebrities in the country through her business Two-Tone Communications. Melanie Ramji started a business from the ground up. Today she's one of the most sought after publicists and she joins me now to tell us more about herself as we celebrate yet another phenomenal woman. Uh, Melanie, very good morning and a warm welcome. Hi, thanks so much for having me. So good to see you. Wow, I love the pictures you guys have of me. And I'm having it's such weird a group to see yourself moment. on screen. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Melanie, you initially studied fashion, but then somehow you found yourself uh, in public relations. Why the transition? Has it been fulfilling for you? Uh, I mean, how difficult was it to get started on your own? Oh, okay. So I, I did fashion because it was a passion, and I was very, I was, a na I was naturally good at fashion. It's in my family. Well, I can tell. In the blood. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I was also good at speaking and public public speaking and writing. So I fell into it, really. Um, I always say PR found me, I didn't find it. Okay. So while I was studying fashion, um, I used to run a, a nightclub with, um, with a, a boyfriend at the time, um, in my teens and my early 20s, and we were like, let's start a record company. And so we did that. And we started a record business, and that's really how it all started. Okay. But I'm here right now, so it's right. been a long journey getting here. And I'm sure it must have been fulfilling for you. It really is. I love what I do, so I feel like I wake up to my dream job every day. Sure. Now, um, you've, you've got quite a, a huge following on social media, and so many people uh, you know, regard you as a uh, most respected influencer and uh, most respected publicist. So how have you been able to uh, build uh, personal relationships, personal and business relationships, uh, with so many of these big names in this industry? Well, I think when you decide to be a publicist, you have to be a people person. So you have to love people, be about people, uh, love speaking, love networking. So I, f I fell into the space um, and it's been a natural transgression from being a young, bubbly young lady to a successful publicist that uh, I hope I am. And how have you been able to find that balance between being an entrepreneur and a wife and a mother? Uh, it must have been a daunting task, isn't it? Well, I have a full team, so don't just get this, uh, <laughs> believe this is a one-man show. Um, I have a complete uh, squad. Um, I have a team to help me raise my kids, okay. um, and my husband included, um, okay. since he's in the background. Yeah. Um, and I have a full-time nanny, I have a mom, I have a sister-in-law, I have a mother-in-law. Um, that help me with family life and family and home life, uh, and I have quite a few interns and girls I mentor that help me build and run my business. Yeah, I mean you can't do without people after all. Uh, what would you say have been your biggest influences, and how have they shaped the woman and the business person that you are today? Well, I've had a lot of PR uh, f mentors, um, in a sense, um, that I've come up with. Um, who've brought me to where I am right now, people who've taught me, who've, who've taught me how to do what I do, who've taught me everything I know in the business, um, and I pay homage to them and respect other females, other women who've put me here, yeah. who've uplifted me, and yeah, I hope right. I can do the same for young ladies. Okay. You know, Melanie, it, it's safe to say that we cannot overemphasize the importance of having a PR person by your side, an image consultant by your side, but then there are those artists who are saying that um, you know, music has made me the brand that I am. So therefore, I don't need a PR practitioner. I don't need a publicist. What would you say to those? I agree with you in some regard. Um, but also, I think um, I disagree with you or the statement in some sense. Um, I think a lot of artists can build their brands. And obviously, the, they, they, it's built on their talent. But there comes a point where you need somebody to manage your, your, your brand as it is. Um, to give you direction, to build your brand and take it to the next level. So you can have the talent um, and you can have the skill to get out there and get the word out there. But if we look at an artist like Rihanna, she had the, te the talent and the skill. Right. But it took someone like Jay-Z, who's not a PR person, who's not a publicist, right. but who took it to the next level. Um, so it's just a PR people are there. Not, you, we, we don't make you talented. Right. You have to have that skill already. Sure. So hence I say I disagree with the statement. So I'm all about taking your brand to the next level. I cannot give you the talent on a golden plate. Right. You have to come to me with that How talent. How do you do that? How do you take a brand to the next level? I mean, there's so many people out there who still don't understand what a PR practitioner does. Uh, well, I think it starts with the skill. 
um, but it's tailor making it for every every client, every every whether it's corporate or lifestyle or consumer or an artist. Uh, it's tailor making it for that brand, so it could be different for an artist versus a corporate. It's Who just tailor making it. Um, I do a lot of work with uh, Gigi Lemain. Um, I do stuff with Shoma Josie. Those are just South African artists. Um, I work with quite a few international artists. And I do quite a few festivals. I'm working on quite a few cool upcoming festivals during festive season. And I'm super excited, local and international content. It's going to be fun this season. Fun indeed it will be. And uh, for those wanting to break into this industry, the PR uh, space, what would, you, what would your advice be? Well, I'm super excited. There's so many young, upcoming black females in the business and the space right now. So I'm super proud because when I came up, there were maybe two or three of us in the business. Um, it's so refreshing to see young people up, up, up and running in the space. Um, and it pushes me to do better and it gives me more drive to do better in my industry. Um, advice I would give them is believe in yourself and look at me. I came from a fashion background. Look believe you. in your dreams. Yeah. And if you persevere you can achieve anything. You know, Melanie, you are one of the many phenomenal women that we pay homage thank to you. in thank Women's you. Month, and we really love your work. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us this thank morning. Thank you. Well, that was Melanie Ramji talking to us about her life as well as her work. We're still in Women's Month, where uh, we are still talking to women who continue to shine in the art space. This is Morning Life. We'll have more in a moment.